Crystallization in Saturated Solution by kscience.com Crystallization is a separation technique used to separate a soluble salt from its solvent. So in this example, we have a conical flask containing a solution of salt water. This is just salt dissolved in water. Crystallization is used to separate any soluble substance from a solvent. These arrows represent the water molecules evaporating. So when the evaporation of water takes place, solid crystals of salt are left at the bottom of the conical flask. The salt does not evaporate at room temperature because the salt has a much higher melting point than water. So when salt crystals form because the water has evaporated, this process is known as crystallization. Crystallization forms bigger crystals if the solution is more saturated and also if the solution is left for a longer time for the water to evaporate. We're now going to learn what the word saturated means. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here's a beaker full of water, which is the solvent, and here's some salt, which is the solute. The solvent is the liquid in which the solute dissolves in. When a small amount of salt is added to the water, we stir it and it easily dissolves. What happens if we keep on adding more salt to this solution? Does the salt keep on dissolving or does it not? That's what we're going to think about now. Here is our beaker containing a solution of salt water, having already dissolved a little bit of salt in the water. So here's some salt, and if we keep on adding little by little, initially it does dissolve. We add a little bit more, it still dissolves. Eventually, as we keep on adding more salt into the solution, the salt cannot dissolve. This is because it gets to a point where the maximum level of salt has dissolved. It's not possible to have a beaker of water and to be able to expect to keep on adding more salt, more salt and expecting that salt to dissolve. Eventually, no more salt can dissolve. Once no more salt can dissolve, excess salt starts to settle at the bottom of the beaker. You will know the solution is saturated because white solid crystals can be seen at the bottom of the beaker and throughout the solution. Once you know the maximum mass of solute that can dissolve in that solvent, you have a saturated solution. So to summarize, a saturated solution is when no more solute can dissolve in that solvent. It is the maximum mass of solute that can dissolve in a particular solvent. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.